Hey, I'm sorry for interrupting you in there earlier. Oh, God, no. Um, it's the first time I've said anything in there, so I'm sure you saved me from sounding like an idiot. Sorry, we met. Not that I know of. Right, sorry. Um, thank you. Do you work here? No, my friend's DJing as a favor. He knows the owner. Do you even have a record player? Yes. Wow. I can't believe you're actually doing this to me. I was in an accident with my boyfriend. Well, was my boyfriend. I'm sorry. I just can't seem to pull myself back together. Give me your number. Maybe we can discuss the details of the custody agreement. Why are we doing this? So you just ran off. Well, yeah, I didn't want to have a fit in front of him and freak him out. It's time to move on. See this new guy? Max would want that. No, he wouldn't. How's the counseling thing going? Yeah, it was this girl there. Mm hmm. Do you like this guy? Yeah, I just. It feels like I'm cheating. Like, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but you can't cheat on a dead guy. Look, yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm so sorry about the coffee shop. You deserve so much better than that. I know you're going through your own everything right now. It's no worries at all. Will you let me make it up to you? I can do way better, I promise. Sure. Quite the answer. It's all those years of training. Seriously? No. This was nice. What? Mm. Tonight, whatever this is. Thanks for setting the night on fire. I don't know why I said that. What's up? Wanna go for a ride? Yeah. This move always work? What do you mean? Pull up in the fancy vintage car, <laughs> drive a girl around LA. David, this is just... This is just too fucking difficult. Two years ago, my boyfriend Max and I got in a car accident. And I suffered a traumatic head injury. I was in a coma for a week. And ever since then... So, that's why that just happened? Sort of. Tell me you didn't screw things up with David. We kissed. So there's hope for you. And then I screwed everything up. So you just sit in this room? Go back in time and hang out with your dead boyfriend. Wait, did you tell him about this? Yeah. <sighs> Girl. Look, I have a busy day tomorrow. David, please. I really like you. And I like you too. Maybe you just need some time to figure things out. David is an opportunity. You can't just go back and get it if you let it pass. You met someone new, like a really cool, nice guy. How is this a bad thing? David, I know this all sounds and seems insane, but I promise I am really, really trying. I've never been good at paying attention to red flags. And I know I am a walking red flag. I am very aware of that. 
I really don't want to like you. I really don't want to like you either. Thank you so much, Gorgeous. This is your place? Yeah. My sister and I, we grew up upstairs. What are you talking about? David, I've been here before. No, please. I, I don't believe in time travel. I know, please, Harriet. please, just trust me. What's the word hummingbird? How? I knew I had seen you before. What? I saw you back there. I saw you. You saw me. What happened? You fell. You hit your head pretty hard. This moment is real. Whether we remember it or not. What? If I do it, I lose you too. And we met before. I hope some part of you remembers me. I hope so too. I don't want to lose you. Nothing changes and you're stuck wearing headphones for the rest of your life. <laughs> or you just disappear. Leave me alone here with your dog. I think that's the most terrifying and amazing part of being a human being. What? Our capacity to move on.